When you think parachutes, you think military heroes, thrill seekers, and high-flying celebrations. But do you think spiders? No, never. But Wash Tuesday, Dave McDaniel is introducing us to a spider, not yet in Florida, but one that could make an airborne entrance into your neighborhood. Large enough to cover your palm, the Joro spider is quite colorful. But the spider is an invasive species settled presently in Georgia, likely after it hitchhiked on a cargo ship from Asia. In their native range in East Asia and Japan, they do, they do go pretty far south into some tropical climates. At the University of Georgia, Andy Davis has studied the Joro and believes that while it's been in Georgia nine years now, it may likely expand its range north and south, including Florida. But not to worry. These juros are really wimpy, and so they're, they're more likely to run away than attack anybody. Um, even if they did want to, their fangs are fairly short, and so they probably wouldn't even be able to do any damage. Some are likely saying out loud, we have those here already. Not so, I'm told. Those are the very similar banana spiders, also a no-risk creature unless you unwittingly stride into a web. The Joro carries that same nuisance risk. You can have you know, three or four webs all meshed together and it makes this big super web. And so that can be kind of a nuisance to homeowners. When people talk about Joro spiders, some people will say they parachute. Well, not literally. When baby Joro spiders hatch, they send out a little bitty web. That web is captured by the wind and they float away. Davis assures us we should not be fearful. If Joros come, they come in peace. Dave McDaniel, West 2 News.